song. Here's, here it is, and you all know it. I am free. Who's free? It says, through you the blind will see. Through you the blind will see. Through you the mute will sing. Through you the dead will rise. Through you our hearts will praise. Through you the darkness flees. Through you my heart screams. I want to hear you scream. Dwayne and Stephan join. They're going to lead the pack of running in freedom today. Amen. Let's go.
Oh, you clothed in majesty. Let all the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. You wrap yourself in light. Oh, can you see it? And darkness tries. High and trembles at his voice and trembles at his voice. Oh, yes, how great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God. Father God, how can we even stand still as we are worshiping and declaring how great you are, how great you are. Holy Ghost, we ask for a super dose of worship coming out of our hearts to you, Lord. The least we can do is raise our arms. Let's raise our arms and close your eyes and just look at him. Sing it to him. Sing it to him. Sing it to him. How great, how great he is. Oh God, how great you are. There's breakthrough when we worship. There's breakthrough in our lives when we worship and we relinquish ourselves to worshiping him. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Let's sing it again.
Jesus. How great are you, God? Sing with me. How great are you, God? And all will see how great, how great are you,
seek him you will find him yes look at him look at him the beauty of his holiness only for you, Jesus. I look into the depths of the pools of your eyes. And you lavish me with love. You lavish me with kindness. You lavish me. Pure love and acceptance. No matter what you've done or haven't done, you're forgiven.
Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. I love you. Jesus, I love you. I love you. I love you. Ooh, I love you. Oh. Whisper. amazing grace I lavish you with my love my healing ray my healing ray, my healing ray, falling over you, my healing ray, my 
as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. On earth. As it is in heaven. disjointed and out of sorts. The atmosphere is pregnant, I'll tell you. For miracles, Father, we thank you for miracles in this house. Instantaneous in the moment. Begin to feel, begin to move around, begin to take a step of faith. Falling off. If you smoke, throw your cigarettes 
up on the platform. We don't care, we don't judge. Throw them up on the platform. Or your line or whatever it is, throw it up. Nicotine, go. Loose. Drugs, go. Pharmacia. Epioids, pull them up here. Bottles of pills, throw them up here. Shut into my deeper waters and when you move through the breakers when my spirit right now is moving you past the breakers everything not of me is breaking it is breaking it is breaking off it is loosing from you let it go do not hold on do not try and swim let me take you out past the breakers let me take you out past the breakers i am moving you past that which has tried to hold you on the shore I am moving you past that which has tried to keep you in the shallow waters. My spirit and my power will sustain you. My love and my glory for this hour is all you need. It's all you need. I am all you need. Let me take you past these breakers and break you free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some of them. Some things that they've been addicted to. Some of you have some things that you, uh, in your silence, because you were embarrassed, we're not going to ask you to name those things. But if you want to be free from your addictions, I want you to just stand up and raise your hand. Stand up right where you're at. Raise your hand. Anybody have all it could forms be the of addiction? Every it could be gluttony. It could be gluttony. Yeah, it could be shopping. It could be spending money. Yes. It could be uh, pornography. It could be to pills. It could be to anything that's got you. Yes. And you don't have it. It has you. Yes. Yes. No, we're going to give one, one more call. One more call. One more call before we move on. See, the Lord has these things, these deep things inside of you that he wants to do through you. But there are things getting in the way. That come and have easily beset us and kept us from moving in. So I want you to stand up, stand up. If that's you, just stand up and then put your arm up in the air. Or Jesus, you see, those that are ready, I should say, those that are ready, that are tired of the addictions that don't want them anymore. Those are the ones. It could be addiction to complaining. Addiction to gossip. Yes. You just can't help yourself. Whatever it might be. Right there. Lord, we just right now, for those that are standing, even those that are watching by live stream or Facebook live, Lord, we thank you that you're bringing your deliverance in. We thank you that you're bringing your deliverance in your coming, in your fire, in your fire and burning out those addictive, that addictive nature. You 
were doing such amazing things to cope and the different coping mechanisms at those places of pain. Lord, you don't want anybody in your way. Holy Spirit, you are the healer. You come in and deliver each one, and you don't want anyone bringing, getting comfort from anyone but you because you are the comforter. And Lord, all of those different areas, Lord, that we need it, Lord, to be free from. Lord, right now, we thank you, Lord. We receive the very healing, the very nature of you, Lord, even now in coming and washing through it, the washing of the water of your word coming and delivering us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Right now, right now, Lord, we receive your very deliverance. We receive your very healing. And we thank you for what you're doing deep inside of us right now. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. As we now present ourselves a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, Lord. It's our reasonable service. We're yours, Lord. And you're our deliverer. You're everything. You're all in all. All, all, all ours, uh, all sufficiency you are in us. So thank you, Lord, as you are coming. And your, your presence is even washing here. And you're making it very clear and bringing understanding to each one that you truly are our deliverer and our healer and our restorer. Even some that have been on drugs since the time they were even uh, early teens, even some in grade school, some were introduced alcohol, drugs. Lord, in a moment you came as you did with me and you delivered me, Lord. So it, so it would be even now, Lord, for each one as you take them into a greater place of glory and of healing and restoration. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Spirit says it's a new day now. So be it. So be it, Lord. The war is over. Yeah. The battle has already been won by Thank Jesus. You, Thank you, Lord. Deliverance, boom, produces yeah. the new beginning. each word was an order and those orders were given to each one and as those orders were received they were off 
in a flash to take care of everything. And that, I believe that's what those addictions, they were off to take care of those addictions right then. And many other things, and I, I saw something similar, so right on the money. If the, if the Lord, when the Lord calls, has, a, has a call on certain things, if we'll respond to it, it's ours. You receive it as, as, as it's yours, that the Lord's speaking his very rhema word to you right then, and that moment he's speaking those to you. Like... 2 Corinthians 2, 4. Therefore, since we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we do not lose heart. But we have renounced the hidden things of shame, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by the manifestation of truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Very good. Good word. Very good. Thank you, Lord. is coming turn to someone if you're on the floor stay there give out what you just received activate pray for them pray for them exhort them encourage the person next to you give out get out of yourselves and give everyone Give, give. Just tell them that they look good. Jesus loves them. But do something, give. That was awesome. Your playing was awesome. Elizabeth, anointed of God. Percussionist, drummers, phenomenal. Singers, awesome. Bass, band, trumpets, lead, awesome. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We've got to learn to give people.
got to give. Give out. That's what keeps the gifts rolling. Go find someone else now and do it to them. Tell them how awesome they are at God. Sometimes we get into, especially if we're going through stuff, we, we just suck and we keep, we keep taking, 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 taking. And we wonder why we're not seeing breakthrough. It's because we have to give out. We need to give out. need to serve. We need to do things and not just take, take, take. Thank you, Jesus. A couple more minutes and then we're going to go on. Okay. Thank you, Lord. I still have a couple of words here um, that the Lord has, and always want to give place to the, just the prophetic words that the Lord says. Corman, are the Cormans still here? Are the Cormans, are they still here? They had to leave. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to get, get back to Thailand. Very good. Guys, if we would just, let's just take a moment here with just the Lord has some things that he wants to speak to us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we love your logos and we love your rhema. We love your prophetic words, Lord, and your, Lord, your truth of your word. We love your word, Lord. Your word brings life. Thank you, Lord. Perry, if you were here, in here, uh, if you would make your way through. Terry, if you, if you have that, Terry, if you have that, or at least you got the clip. Of, uh, okay, good. Very good. Pakamasi si bohohagi. Ke Se makasho kina kita hokobai te mashai bato makale me kie hisa ho shakana makite a kapo palamesi hika ho masi te hato bakite maso aso makasi te a kapo la mainati si te bukoshi ani kiti hamoko mai ai Thank you. Who's got the interpretation? Haven't I? Haven't I not given you everything? Haven't I not given you my son? Haven't I not given you my spirit? Haven't I not given you an anointing? Look now, because all of heaven, look now, because all of heaven is ready. All of heaven has been prepared for this. You'll no longer keep it to yourself. You will give it away in my name. You will no longer be timid, but you will be bold as a lion. My son is a lion. 
He roars. All of heaven is equipped. You are equipped. Heaven is waiting for the manifest sons and daughters of the Most High. Go. You'll go. Go ye therefore. Go. Go. They're hurting. Go to the hurt ones, the afraid ones. Go to the ones who are lost. Go to the ones who are angry. Go to the ones who are hungry. Go! Very good. Very good. Very good. Wow. Do you get that, some of you? Just raise your hand. you get that? Kind of receiving that? Mm, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, during worship, the Lord said to me that uh, 2,000 years ago, that veil between the holy and the holy of holies was rent. But it wasn't just for then. Right. It's for you right now. Right. And one of the things that curtain does is it falls back together just naturally. And he has opened the curtain during our worship and held back the curtain for us to come into the holy of holies and receive all that you need in strength and healing and what a peace and joy. And then he sends you back out because you are the sent ones. He's sending everyone. I've gotten this for weeks in here that he's, each one of us is a sent one. And he doesn't want you to go unprepared, though, and unhole yourself. So he holds back that Holy of Holies curtain for you today. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, right there. Right there. He sees us. He sits us in the heavenly places. Is, is that awesome? You got a word there? Just come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We got this yesterday in our reading, Ezekiel 47. You have heard it said, the river will flow and its waters will fill this house, first to the ankle, then to the knees, then to the waist until it overflows. And like the days of Ezekiel, when I showed him my river running through the temple until it overflowed, it's time, my bride, it's time. My healing river of life, which starts in my throne room, is coming to earth, and it's coming to this house. It's coming to the nations. This water brings healing and miracles. This water brings life. It will not be hindered. It will not be controlled. Just as in the days of Noah, I am opening the windows of heaven. I am fulfilling my word in your midst. Just as it is written in Malachi 3, I will pour out on you until you cannot contain. You cannot hold it back. You cannot control. I am destroying the dams built inside of you yeah. by you, by your experiences, and by the enemy. I am breaking open the deep in you the river of life in you will collide with mine and become one I am taking you into the deep I am sweeping you off your feet I am taking you into the world for it's harvest time it's harvest time I am healing you I am healing you and sending you out my river goes with you to bring healing to your families and to the nations my resurrection power goes with with you and death will flee before you the enemy will scream in terror for his time is up cast your nets cast your nets it's harvest time I will put your inheritance in your hands so you can fulfill your purpose so you can fulfill my will the bridegroom says come the bridegroom says come beloved let's bring in the harvest Amen. thank you Lord wow I'll take that one too huh how many of you want to really be a, a part of the harvest that the Lord has raised? It? Stand up if you want to be a part of that. Some of you are just, it, it's, it's a new territory, of, uh, uh, but it's what we're all called to do. Uh, thank you, Lord, for this heart of ours that you've given to us. Some of us, it's really scary to begin to go outside of ourselves and begin to reach out in the highways and the byways and compel them to come in. But Lord, it's your, your place right now that you are reaching through us out to them. It's not us 
but you through us. The hope of glory reaching out and touching the hearts. Lord, say what you want to say through us. Lord, we're your tools. We're your children. We're your vessels that you are pouring through and you bring the increase. It's all about you. Us just being a part, come alongside you. Just being carriers of your word to others. That's what we are, carriers of your goodness, your kindness, and your love. Carriers of the good news. Help us all, Lord. And if we're not standing, Lord, also help those that aren't standing as well because, Lord, there's Lord, there's things that you're doing right now. There's supernatural things you're doing in the hearts. And we thank you for what you're doing right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This morning during um, healing prayer, we had a visitation from the Lord. And we received a download of the anointing that was coursing through us together as we held hands. And as we were just receiving just what the Lord was doing, I saw a vision of the sanctuary here with like little conduits. He was pushing them through the ceiling and they were different sizes, some were straw size, and then they got bigger. But as I was, um, as I was just sitting in the, in the sanctuary waiting for service to start, I saw the entire ceiling, he just kept pushing them through and pushing them through. And then I saw them going into people's homes that are watching my live stream and, and on Facebook and that even aren't looking. And what was coming down through the conduits was the anointing and and his presence and I could see and I've been and I've been seeing it all service is that the Shekinah glory is filling this place in such a way and he said I there's a spigot for every person that like nobody's going to be left out that there's that reach up and and feel his glory just just being poured down, but he said, I am equipping you. I am equipping you today. What I am doing in this place today, you will never forget. I am releasing an, a power and an anointing and a revelation and a stamina for you to do the work that you ha have been called to do. Now, you can raise your hands and say, yes, Lord, yes. I will do it. Yes, Lord. Yes. But in this hour, you cannot do it without me. Right. And you cannot do it without the impartation of my presence and my anointing yes. that will fully equip you you it will break every yoke it will empower you and thrust you forth into the harvest field know that my hand is not short that it cannot save I am delivering and I am setting free if you can only believe this morning that that release is coming into this place and that has been hovering here reach up and receive it in Jesus' name. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Perry's just going to share real quickly for a moment here um, about something that's really dear to me. I, uh, he talked to us a, a while back about this uh, grief class. And uh, some of us have never, ever, really, ever grieved certain things in our lives. And um, we have a, just a really amazing uh, class for those of you that are grieving uh, certain things that we kind of keep us tied to a place of pain. Mm -hmm. And just for a moment, we've got a one-minute clip, and he's got some things that uh, just in this class that he's going to share just for this time. This class that we are doing on Sundays is called Surviving the Holidays. It'll run from 8 
till 9.30, till December 16th, every Sunday until then. It's a one-time class, but you're welcome to come all the time. 